ask a question here. I want to ask a question. And I don't know, is this a different topic? Is it related to the topic? Because I just feel like it's a big part of it. And I did bring it up, but I feel like it's talk it's society is evolving in this sort of cancel culture way where if you just get enough people pissed off, it's like it's like society has to do something. Right? It's it's like, is this a precarious line or is this sort of the way society should be like is it if enough people are angry we have to change what if what if the wrong people are angry like who's i guess i don't know what's the balance here with our society bobby, like bobby you know what the wrong people got angry and elected donald trump yep depends on your point, point of view <laughs> but this is my point right it, it's like really that guy's in charge of the world a lot of people would disagree with you, though, and think he's doing a fabulous job. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, essentially, throughout history, the ones that have decided good and wrong are the ones that had it better easy. And ultimately, there's always going to be a percentage of people in your society who have no problem with dictators. They just don't. They just actually kind of like the idea. And they like the idea of strongman politics. And they, they uh, you know, and these people can be your coworkers. They can be family yeah. members. They can be. The, the beautiful part about all this is that when you see, like, you know, the, the tubby guys with AR-15 screaming about the fact that they need guns if the government is ever going to come in and muscle them around, mm -hmm. the government is doing that right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why are they just standing around having a snack? Mm -hmm. Like, like this should be the thing that infuriates them. The only reason that it's not is not because they care about the constitution. It's not because they care about the second amendment, right? It is literally because it's not their side that this is happening to. Well, That's don't forget why. the Boogaloo movement though. Which I'm uh, sad to see. Now, because I really like that album by Gianluca Palma and the Blue Beaters. <laughs> I really do. I'm gonna have to That's, check that one day. It's that Italian is, Scots, gorgeous. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm going to throw up, I'm going to put up a little post uh, along with this show just to, to give a little taste of the boogaloo. But, um, <laughs> a little taste. but um, yeah, so uh, tell us, Lewis, uh, what have you discovered about this boogaloo movement? Uh, the boogaloo movement is, is one of those confusing terms like the uh, Antifa term that everyone's throwing around. It is not a, um, a card carrying unionized bunch. Uh, it's just a loosely affiliated, um, philosophically fractured group of white guys who some of who uh, believe that the next revolution is around the corner. Right, some of them uh, are believers in uh, the Turner. Is it the Turner Chronicles? Uh, it was a, um, an online novel or tretzi, uh written by some dude that uh, wrote a novel or a, a fiction of the upcoming white overthrow of the. Uh, Jewish hierarchy and their black foot soldiers, right, in this bloody, bloody revolution. Some of them are uh, followers of that who are um, participating in these protests uh, in basically the same, um, carrying out the same actions as Asian provocateurs, right? Uh, going in and, and rioting and busting up shops and all of the shit, not in support of uh, Black Lives Matters, but in order to bring on the revolution, the anti-government revolution. So they're like piggybacking on the Black Lives Matters movement to just yeah, they're using fuck, it. fuck shit up. Yeah, they're using it. So they're really anti-government, anti-establishment kind of thing? Yeah, and anti-black, anti-Hispanic, anti—you know—it's—it's. It's, right. They're just uh, making use of the opportunity. Lewis, I would like to thank you for doing my segment. I fucking hate white people. <laughs> <laughs> it was going to be Tucker Carlson, but 
That's an easy one. Uh, so, I, Lewis, I'm thank like, you for that contribution. What happened to Tucker's bow ties? I'm like, what the hell? Tucker, like, yeah. that's your brand. What the hell? Like, where are the bow ties? Um, a little ticked. Can Probably I he got that... off set one night and someone came off and went, you're looking a little cucky. And, uh, <laughs> oh, oh, okay. You, um, you know, those kind of movements have always happened since Reconstruction, you know. Uh, Reconstruction oh, happens. Yeah. People of color are elected to uh, the House of Representatives and the Congress for the first time. So uh, the uh, Ku Klux Klan is born and they try desperately to get this civil war to start all over again. And then, uh, you know, um, LBJ passes uh, civil rights, uh, the Civil Rights Act, and uh, then, you know, uh, people in the South try again. The certain movements are, are uh, women who are members of the freedom people, or whatever, start putting up statues celebrating civil rights uh, sorry, uh, celebrating Confederate soldiers and stuff like that, just to try and yeah, 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 yeah. get the, you know, just to light that spark. I don't think, like, that's, you know, I don't think that that race uh, war that they're desperate for is ever going to happen. Um, and even if it does happen, they're going to lose. But, so they're looking for a race war. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, right. like, if you, like, I I did this show in, in St. Louis uh, years ago, and I met a lot of people who, you know, explained to me, under no uncertain circumstances that, you know, people in the South, they've never lost that, the desire to fight the Civil War over again. It, like it never, and we don't talk about it and you don't see it in American media, but it's alive and well right. in the South, the, the bitterness over the loss of the Civil War. Right. Can I also add that uh, the race war isn't gonna happen because it's already been won. You know, like you're not going to have 10 to 13 max percentage of the population with no standing militia or military winning a race war against a well-armed uh, majority of a population. That race war was won. <laughs> you know, it really yeah. does feel like there is a race war, though, you know, but it's, it's a different race war because... Yeah you've got sort of like black people and Asian people and Hispanic people and brown people, and now a bunch of white women, which is kind of weird, but yeah, all on the same there. side, you know? Um, Sometimes and, linking uh, hands to protect black protesters. Every now yes. and then, white women link I, hands. Uh -huh. I think he was going the in the opposite Karen. direction. The anti-Karen, yeah. And when the anti-Karen and the Karen meet, they annihilate. Oh, don't! Her. No, no, yeah, no! But that's how Were you, you run into Starship. Honestly, it turns into the worst pottery barn. That's what happens. <laughs> well, you know.